I'd like to play a piece for you by the very great cellist Ennio Bolognini. He was born in Buenos Aires. His godfather was Toscanini. His mother was a very famous opera singer in the Teatro Colón of Buenos Aires. And this man was a multifaceted genius. As a matter of fact, his godfather, Toscanini, instead of calling him Ennio Bolognini, he called him Genio, genius Bolognini. And that he was. He was not only a great cellist, composer, played other instruments, beautiful voice, he was a boxer. He was the welterweight champion of Buenos Aires, of Argentina. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the first time that he came to the United States, it was not for a tour of cello concerts, but to have a match with Firpo, who was a very famous boxer at that time. He was a sparring partner for Jack Dempsey. He was a great pilot. He raced cars. He studied medicine. He told me that he got so far as to take out his own tonsils and that of his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and as a matter of fact, he was married several times, but he told me that with these first wives that he was married to, he had only something like six months of married life with all of them put together. <laughs> but his last wife, to whom he was married for the last many years of his life, and it is because of her that he lived a wonderful and very rich last years, is with us in the audience tonight. Her name is uh, Dorothy Bolognini, and I'd love it, Dorothy, if you could please stand. a dealer in rare violins and cello, cellos when he was in Chicago and Piatigorsky came to play in Chicago. Uh, Bolognini was the first cellist at that time of the Chicago Symphony and uh, my father being a linguist uh, helped uh, Piatigorsky and translated his reviews and in the review they said that he was the greatest cellist in the world today. And Piatigorsky said to my father, no, there is one greater, Ennio Bolognini. And it was my great privilege and happiness that I met him when I was eight years old. And he will always be, as he has been every day of my life, a very great inspiration. I will play the, for the unaccompanied cello, La Serenata del Eco.